All right, this is fourth grade, module six, lesson 13. And in this lesson, we're going to be adding decimal numbers, but we're not going to be using that standard algorithm yet. Instead, we're going to have our students taking those decimals, converting them into fractions, and then adding, and then rewriting that whole thing as their decimal equivalents. Now, why are we doing this? Well, the idea is we don't want students adding decimals simply because they're following mindlessly some rule. Line up the decimals and then add like normal. What we really want is for students to be adding decimals because they understand the numbers behind it. And so that's what this lesson is. It's merely a stepping stone towards what students eventually will be doing, which is adding using that standard algorithm. Algorithm. So let's get started. So what we've got here is we've got some fractions and we're going to be converting them first to, well, they're already in tenths and hundredths, but first we're going to find uh, like a common denominator. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that we can see. And we're going to take six and five tenths and we're going to change that to be six and fifty hundredths plus one hundredth and then we can add those together and you end up with six and fifty one hundredths and so what we want is then for students to say okay let's change that to decimals so that would be six point five plus zero point zero one and that equals six point five one and that's what we're being asked to do so let's take a look at this one right here so question D so this ends up being six, whoa, six and fifty hundredths plus seven and one hundredth. And that equals thirteen because we added the six and the seven. Thirteen and fifty one hundredths. So how is that going to look? in decimal form. Well, 6 and 5 tenths, that's 6.5 plus 7 and 1 hundredths because becomes 7.01 and then we can add. So 6 and 7 is 13.51. Now where did I get the 0.51? Really, I kind of cheated at this point. I looked over here and I see that, oh, the answer is supposed to be 13 and 51 hundredths. Now parents and teachers, that's perfectly okay. We don't need to tell students to line up the decimals and add. We really want students to gradually have it make sense to them on their own, and eventually they will have that standard algorithm under their belt. Again, they're asking us to solve and then rewrite the entire number sentence in decimal form. So let's zoom in on C because that seems to be one of the harder ones. So we know that we need to get our fractions into hundredths, so that ends up becoming 7 and 30 hundredths plus 6 and 87 hundredths. That ends up being 13 and 117 hundredths. Now, we know that we need to take that 117 hundredths, and we know that, oh, well, that could be 100 one hundredths, plus an extra 17 one-hundredths. So 13 plus one more, that gives us 14 and 17 one-hundredths. Now that's our answer as a fraction. So writing that as a decimal, starting up here, 7 and 3 tenths, that becomes 7.3 plus 6 and 87 hundredths becomes 6 and 87 hundredths. Adding together, we get um, 14 and 17 hundredths. Got more of the same, but now the problems are getting slightly more difficult, and we have to remember that after we solve it as a fraction, we're going to rewrite it as a decimal. So let's take a look at C, and then possibly we'll also look at D because those problems are very similar intentionally. So here, this time, they've given us the decimal, and we need to first think about that as fractions. So 7 and 3 tenths plus 1 and 8 tenths. So that ends up, oh, since we already have 
common denominators, so we don't have to rename any of our fractions. So that gives us 8 and 11 tenths. But that 11 tenths can be thought of as 10 tenths plus 1 tenth. So really, this equals 1 whole. So we end up with 9 wholes because the 8 plus the 1 more whole, and we have 1 tenth left over. So if we wanted to write that as a decimal, we would have 7.3 plus 1.8 equals 9.1, because 9.1 is the same thing as 9 and 1 tenth. Now if we wanted to, let's take a look at D. So D, we're going to start with 7 and 3 tenths, plus 1 and 86 hundredths. So that ends up being 7 and 30 hundredths plus 1 and 86 hundredths. And adding that together, we end up with 8 holes and 116 hundredths. So we know that 116 hundredths, that's 100 over 100, 100 hundredths, plus an extra 16 hundredths. So there, we have one extra hole down here. So 8 plus 1, that ends up equaling 9 holes, plus we have an extra 16 hundredths left over. So that's our answer as a fraction. Now, how would we write that as a decimal? We would write 7 and 3 tenths, 7.3, plus 1.86, that's 1 and 86 hundredths, and that equals 9 and 16 hundredths, because that matches that answer right there. That 9.16 is 9 and 16 hundredths. All right, so more of the same, only gets a little bit more difficult. So let's take a zoom in and look at problem G. So G, we've got, let's see, We've got 8 and 6 tenths plus, we've got 4 and 67 hundredths, and we know that 6 tenths, 8 and 6 tenths can be rewritten as 8 and 60 hundredths plus 4 and 67 hundredths. And then we can add our whole numbers, so 8 and 4 equals 12, and then we can add our frac fractions, so 60 hundredths plus 67 hundredths equals 127 hundredths. And then I'm going to take that and I'm going to write it down here. So 12 and 127 hundredths. Because we can use our decomposition to rethink 127 hundredths as 101 hundredths plus 27 hundredths. All right? And that right here is equal to one whole. There's one whole, so 12 plus an extra one whole gives us 13 holes, plus we have 27 hundredths left over. So that's our answer as a fraction, but really, they want us to write it as a decimal. So it's going to be 8.6 plus 4.67 is equal to, and then we're going to write uh, 13 and 27 hundredths. And we can see that 13.27 is the same thing as 13 and 27 hundredths. Now, parents and teachers, don't freak out. This is not the standard algorithm yet. At this point, we're still trying to develop in our students a deep understanding of the place value and of the fraction and decimal equivalents. Eventually, this is just a stepping stone towards what eventually the students will be doing, which is adding using that standard algorithm. And that wraps up 4th grade module 6, lesson 13, adding decimals by converting those decimals into fraction form.